The election festival of 2024 will conclude in November with Maharashtra and Jharkhand going to polls and by polls in several other states. The much anticipated Maharashtra Assembly election will take place in a single phase with voting on November 20th. As far as Jharkhand is concerned, the election will take place in two phases. Phase one will be on November 13th and phase two will be on November 20th. The counting of votes in both states will be held on November 23rd, and Maharashtra will witness a straight fight between two alliances. The ruling Mahayuti, consisting of the BJP, the Shiv Sena, and Ajit Pavar's NCP, and the Mahavikas Gari, consisting of the Congress, Udhav Thakre's Shiv Sena, and Sharad Pavar's NCP. Now, sources say that the Mahayuti has finalized the deal of majority of the 288 assembly seats. The BJP is likely to get the lion's share of 155 to 160 seats. The Shiv Sena, whose chief, Eknath Shinde, is the chief minister, had been asking for over 100 seats. However, sources say they will have to settle for 80 seats, with the remaining 40-plus seats going to the Ajit Pavar's NCP. Now, as far as the Mahavikas Aghari is concerned, they are yet to reach a consensus over the seat-sharing agreement. And meanwhile, following allegations of EVM temp tampering in the Haryana elections, the to and fro between the Election Commission and the opposition continues. The Congress Party and its allies have once again raised doubts over EVMs. This despite the poll panel reiterating that it is foolproof, safe and robust. And I'm very happy that the Election Commission has announced the poll dates today. 20th November will be the polling and 23rd will be the counting. And uh, I'm very uh, sure that uh, in Maharashtra we will, as the Mahayuti, consisting of the Bharti Janta Party, Shiv Sena and uh, the NCP, we will do very well. And uh, with the kind of good schemes, the good work and the development and the infrastructure which has been created in Maharashtra, the people will definitely want to go for development, good work. It was a long time to wait for the date, or to do 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 the date. You can do the date. So now we are all ready. We are so ready to do the date. That you are इस राज्य का चुनाव हरियाणा जैसा मत करिए ईवीएम फुल प्रूफ नहीं है हम लोकसभा में कोई इस बारे में आक्षेप नहीं दिया था चुनाव होने दिया लेकिन हरियाणा के बाद फिर एक बार ईवीएम के बारे में लोगों के मन में शंका पैदा हो गई है छह महीने लगभग लगभग पांच छह महीने फर्स्ट एफएलसी शुरू होती है ईवीएम की मैं दो बात बता रहा हूं बस मोटी सी दो बात बाकी सब आपको मालूम है वो टेम्पर नहीं हो सकती उसमें कोई कनेक्शन नहीं हो सकता अभी लोग पूछते हैं जब पेजर से उड़ा देते हैं तो ईवीएम को कैसे हैक नहीं कर सकते ये भी पूछते हैं जब जब कोई किसी कंट्री में पेजर से उड़ा दिया तो ईवीएम हैक हो जाएगी अरे भाई पेजर कनेक्टेड होता है ईवीएम कनेक्टेड नहीं होती पांच छह महीने पहले एफ होती है फर्स्ट लेवल चेकिंग ऑफ द ईवीएम और मेरे पास में पूरा रिकॉर्ड है ये हम जो भी ईवीएम की शिकायतें वाई दी आई हैं वो हमारे पास बीस शिकायतें आई हैं हर भी शिकायत का हम इंडिविजुअल जवाब देंगे भैया तो वहां तो अब मेरी कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी में 1800 प्लस बूथ हैं। तो वहां पे भी क्या अगर मेरे फुल 67 परसेंट हुआ पोल तो बैटरी तो कुछ डिस्चार्ज होनी चाहिए ठीक है तो 99 परसेंट कैसे हो सकता है जब टेक्निक आप अपना मोबाइल यूज करते हो ठीक है दिन भर में इस्तेमाल कम बैटरी जो है वो बहुत कम डिस्चार्ज होता है ये कह रहे हैं तो फिर सब पे होना चाहिए तो फिर एक पे क्यों हो रहा है तो तो बैटरी सेम ठीक है तो दो कंपनी बनाती है वही बना रही है चुनाव तो, आयोग के तर्क को कितना आप मैं तो ये मेरे को तो लगता है क्योंकि संवैधानिक संस्था है मेरे को नहीं बोलना चाहिए हमारे सीनियर लीडर इस पे बात करेंगे तो मेरा ये कहने का अगर वो एक की बात कर रहे हैं तो फिर सब सब पे सेम होना चाहिए ना एक पे बैटरी डिस्चार्ज हो रही है इतनी एक पे डिस्चार्ज हो रही है तो जनता को अगर डाउट है तो इलेक्शन कमीशन तो एक संवैधानिक संस्था है हमारी तो उनको जनभावना को देखते हुए जनता के मुताबिक इलेक्शन करा देना चाहिए 
Crossing over to my colleague O'Neill now. O'Neill, finally the dates are out. Maharashtra is going to be heading to polls in a single phase itself, which is going to be taking place on the 20th. Counting is going to be taking place on the 23rd. Uh, what are sources telling you as far as seat sharing arrangements are concerned? Well, certainly this is going to be historic polls for the state of Maharashtra. The reason for that is uh, two of the re uh, crucial regional parties, big regional parties, one started by uh, late uh, Bala Saheb Thakre. Uh, the fight for his fight now is for his legacy. C.A. Viknash Chinde is claiming his legacy against the son of Bala Saheb Thakre, that is Uddhav Thakre. Similar is the case with the NCP as well. Sharad Pawar started it and now Sharad, Sharad Pawar has to show his medals, show that he is the true boss against his own nephew Ajit Pawar who basically grew under his tutelage only. Now uh, coming to the big big issues as well, uh, the Mahavika Sagadi basically has taken out an attack on the Mahayuti with respect to the recent violent uh, violence incidents that have hap uh, taken place in the state. The recent being uh, the Baba Siddiqui shootout which led to his murder and uh, the sexual assault cases as well. The Mahayuti basically will be banking on their schemes, primarily on the Maji Larki Bahin Yojana scheme which basically translates to Meri Larki Bahin Yojana, uh, Bahin Yojana scheme. Uh, now uh, coming to uh, basically several pot shots that have been taken by uh, uh, leaders from uh, both the parties. Firstly, uh, with respect to the Mahayuti is concerned or the Mahavikas Agadi is concerned, both the alliance units have not declared their CM faces. Uh, see, uh, Uddhav Thakre was keen on doing that, uh, requested uh, the Mahavikas Agadi partners to do that, but uh, he didn't get a favorable response. CM Ekna Chinde is trying to lead from Mahayuti, however, he has stiff challenge uh, in the form of Devendra Fadnavis who has led Maharashtra as the chief minister for a full term whereas Ajit Pawar is also uh, a senior veteran leader uh, when it comes to uh, Maharashtra politics. So yes, uh, this probably will be the most interesting uh, polls when it comes to Maharashtra's history. The reason for that is six strong parties will be in the fray, three on one side, three on the other side and with that there will be several regional parties as well, several other factors like the AIMIM, uh, the Muslim boards, the Prakash, Ambedkar, uh, 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 Prakash Ambedkar's uh, party which basically will be catering to the Dalit votes. How uh, the dynamics will be working out, we obviously will be updating our viewers. Absolutely. Anil, do stay with us. When we're talking about what we have to look at too when it comes to the elections for both sides, uh, when it comes to the Mahayuti versus the Mahavikas Agadi, what are the key challenges and the key issues actually that really matter for the people of Maharashtra which will decide the elections? Well, uh, you asked me a question about seat sharing as well. Uh, beg your pardon, I didn't respond to that one. Uh, so, seat sharing mm. basically uh, remains a major conundrum uh, for both the alliance units. Now, coming to Mahayuti, the BJP definitely is, uh, certainly is the big party within the Mahayuti. They will be gunning to a contest on 150 to 160 seats out of the total 288 assembly seats in Maharashtra. Now, second, uh, CM Eknath Chinde, who was eyeing more than 100 seats, will should be uh, able to get around 80 to 85 seats, is asking for more as well. Now, that leaves only 45 to 50 seats for Ajit Pawar's NCP. The big question here is, with respect to number of MLAs, with respect to popularity as well, probably Ajit Pawar and CM Eknath Chinde are, uh, to an extent, uh, uh, on the similar line or similar weightage. Now, whether Ajit Pawar will accept uh, a lower number of seats than CM that again will be very, very interesting. Coming to Mahavikas Agadi as well. Uh, in the Lok Sabha polls, Uddhav Thakre contested on more number of seats than uh, the Congress party. However, the Congress party performed better than uh, Uddhav Thakre's Shiv Sena. So they are basically pushing for 120 seats. They are pushing to become the big brother of the Mahavikas Agadi. However, uh, Uddhav Thakre is against that uh, rhetoric as well uh, because uh, they, be they believe that they have more presence on the ground. But with them is a third alliance partner, that is Sharad Pawar's NCP, whose party has had the best strike rate across all the alliance partners, be it from Mahayuti or from Mahavika Sagadi, uh, during the recently conducted Lok Sabha polls. For seat sharing, primarily remains a big conundrum or a big... Uh, big challenge for the Mahavikas Aghadi partners as well. There, who is going to be the big brother? Also, the Haryana polls has reduced the bargaining power to, of the Congress party to a certain extent and has increased the BJP's bargaining power within the Mahayuti to a, uh, to a minor extent. Absolutely.
Absolutely. Anil, thank you so much for joining us and getting us those key and crucial details. And we'll continue to track the developments here. But